This is lesson 24 homework. Module 7 of grade 2. Write your name here. Use the data in the table to create a line plot and answer the question. Here's the data in our table. And we're measuring the hand span in inches of students in a class. You remember the hand span was this, the distance between the pinky and the thumb, which eh, about that this that that would be about eight inches right there. <clears throat> Maybe I could stretch out and make it a little bit longer, but here's what we got. Uh, nobody had one that was only two inches. That would be a really tiny hand. Four inches, one person, seven fives. Ten people had six inch hand spans. And for seven inches, there were three people. And eight inches, just one. So we're going to make a line plot here. Hand span in inches. We have the title already set up for us. Here's our line. It's already labeled. All we have to do is plot the students. I'm going to make X's, one for each student. First student is a four inch hand span, so I'm going to make an X right there. That's just one. Five inches, there are seven students, so I'm going to have to make seven X's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. For six inches, there are 10 people. Now I'm gonna try and make it almost like rows so that we can compare the height of the different, uh, the different numbers and make it just an easy comparison on the graph. The X's kind of have to stay the same size as each other and about the same distance apart. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just try and keep it close. We need 10 X's, so one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, so these are tied at seven, but this one goes up to ten, eight, nine, ten. It's got to go up into the title. Couldn't help it. Uh, for seven inch hand spans, there are only three people one, two, and the third row should be up here. And then eight, there's just one person. And there's our line plot. And now we say describe the pattern you see in the line plot. Describe anything that you see here. What can you say about this? I mean, I could say that there's nobody with a hand span less than four inches. You could say that uh, uh, that six inches has the most, or that most of the class has a five or six inch hand span. There's a lot of different things you could say about it. I'm just going to say that most of the students have a five, four, six inch hand span because that's just what I saw. You could say that uh, six inches. Uh, more people had six inches than any other. That's just what I saw and that's what I wrote. Number two, now we're going to make our own line plot. A lot of it is set up for us already. We're using the data in the table. That's this table right here to create a line plot and answer the questions. We've got questions to answer afterwards. And we've got, looks like a class that has measured their right foot. So every student in the class measured their right foot of uh, Ms. DeFrancisco's class and this is the line plot for it. So we need a line plot. I'm going to use a ruler to make sure I dr actually draw a line for my line plot. Uh, you can use the edge of a book, you could use a lot of things, you could use another pencil uh, as long as you can hold it still and use it to draw a straight line. start with that. Now this line is going to start with a zero 
and I could go on to count all the way up to 16 before I started marking any data because our smallest foot is 17 centimeters. Now we could just, you, sometimes you can just start with a 17 or you can do this like we did in our problem sets where you make a little mark like this to make it look like a break in the line. You're gonna, that just says that you're gonna skip ahead from zero to 17. You can do that too. Or you could just, you know, just start with 17. That's okay. You can do that. And then we have 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 is where we stop. So I, I'm, I don't have to do any more than that. And if I want, I could do a 24. Why not? Just to show that there's nothing there. And then line plot, these are all in centimeters. Now I could write CM, 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 but I'm just gonna say CM and label the whole line with that, just that centimeters. So let's see, 17, one student with 17, one student, one X. 18 is two, so that's two X's, one, two. 19 centimeters. Four students had feet nine had a right foot of 19 centimeters. That's one, two, three, four. 20 had six. So one, two, three, four. And see how my fours kind of match up there? Four, five, six. And 21 has the same amount, also six, so that should, we just keep it and match it, just like we're drawing a row here, we want the next one, we want them to be kind of even with each other. There, but there's a better X. All right, that's six, and then 22 has two students, had 22 centimeter feet, and then uh, for 23, only one, and 24, there's nobody, so just leave it there. And now we have some questions to answer. Here's our line plot. Describe the pattern you see in the line plot. Same thing. We're just looking at it, and what can we say about it? Anything that you notice. Um, I see that you can say that everything is between 17 and 23 centimeters. But I'm looking at this, and it looks to me like most of the students are in this range, 19, 20, or 21. It's just, they're almost all right in there. There's a few here, there's a few there, but most of them are right in this. They have this little range here. So how can I say this? I'm going to say most students. Feet 19 to 21 cm long because almost most of the students really are. There's right in there in that three centimeter range. How many feet are longer than 20 centimeters? Well, you could look at this and say, well, 21, they're longer, but 22 is also longer, and so is 23. So we're going to count all of those. But don't count 20, because those are the same as 20. We only want the ones that are longer than 20. So we want the 21s, the 22s, and the 23s. And there's nothing else that's bigger than that. So we're just going to count all of these X's, because each one is one student. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Nine feet. Actually, they're feet, not students. So that's nine feet. How many feet are shorter than 20? Same thing, but on the other side of 20. We can't count 20 because those are the same as 20. We want the ones that are shorter than 20. Not just the 19, but 18 is also shorter than 20, and so is 17. So we're going to count these guys here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven feet are shorter than 20 centimeters. And then we'll make up our my own question related to the data. 
that. Uh, let's say how many more? Now you can compare any two measurements, say one how many fewer, how many more, or what's the most, or what has the least, or uh, which how many have two, or how many have have four. Uh, I'm just going to say uh, how many more feet are 20 cm than 19 cm. There's my question. Well, it's a question mark because it's a question. <laughs> 